I'm totally this soldier and I've been responsible about his life. But I also know the team and I know the people. And I've met many of the drivers and we see them here. If you don't get to any award-winning drivers, we see them here. That's the kind of culture that you want to work for. So if you're a new driver looking to be bored at the end of the day, probably you're explaining to your own way to move. Not every good company is for you. We know that. I'm not saying that you know that the company for you, but it's certainly something to look out for. Anyway, enough of me talking about it. Why don't we learn more about Dr. Maverick Maverick himself? I know this is not a popular episode. Anyway, before we get that, let me tell you a little bit about driver check. So, driver check is a workplace safety. They have an amazing, uh, they want you to be safe and have a good time for your workplace as well. They don't know drug and alcohol testing. COVID, workplace policies, all that kind of stuff. So check them out. Make sure you go to the Fitness for Duty Summit at DriverCheck.com where you can find all of our stuff. All right, let's get into it and uh, let's uh, find out some of the bad things that are going to happen. We're going to go to the Fitness for Duty Summit. We're going to go to the Fitness for Duty Summit. We're going to go to the Fitness for Duty Summit. All right, I'm here with the Mav. Maverick, no, Top boy. Gun. Uh, no. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing, buddy? Very well, sir. Oh, we can see you. Still the best dressed guy in the company. Look I, at I this try, guy. I try, yeah, I yeah, try, yeah. I try every single morning. <laughs> so, what do you? What do you? What is? What's your role? Other than other than hosting me whenever I come to the Bison Terminal in Mississauga, what is your role here? What do you do? So, uh, currently, uh, I'm a fleet manager. Okay. And I uh, oversee two fleets, Midwest region, okay. uh, which is a good thing for. Many auto ops and drivers right, because right. they it's a shorter run, so yeah. they get to come back home. Okay, midweek, sort of you know spend some time yeah, with yeah. the family and then go back on go the back out again. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's uh, that's what I do. Okay, are you involved with dispatch and all that too? Is that yeah, part of your thing? Yeah, dispatch operations. I have a team of dispatchers and we work with uh, planning and customer service. Are they all mean people? Like I hear no, that's not not vital. Sorry, I'm, I'm as, thinking about as, that. Company. As a matter of fact, just to put it on record, no, <laughs> no. one advising is know. mean whatsoever. I know that. I'm old school. I'm old school. I'm, dispatchers and I used to dispatchers and drivers used to have issues back in the day. That's why there was a little hole things, in the plastic. Things, things, uh, Hopefully matter, they've changed. Things, as a matter of fact, have changed. Uh, yeah, I'm sure they have. <laughs> and I can I can vouch for that, and my opinion is not going to be biased because, you know, I was a part of a different industry right. before coming in supply chain. Okay. And when the transition happened, I wanted to ensure that I have the ground up knowledge. Right. So I went to the process of uh, getting certified and getting, yeah, getting license. license and, yeah. you know, uh, drove and they people. weren't mean to you. And Not you. at all. I'm, 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 I'm actually getting to that part. <laughs> so I went to the process of uh, driving with Bison as a DFP as well. Right. So that's why I said my opinion here yeah. is not going to be biased. Right. So at Bison here, you know, I can proudly say that people in the operation department you will actually see that people really care about i've been hearing that i've been hearing deal. that i had the shermanator in here and oh. she treats the drivers like they're her kids and <laughs> you know, you're you're like, here and you know and, I, and i've seen enough of you guys like I'm, if you, you know, were to spend 10 15 minutes right sitting at my desk or just grab a chair the conversations bruce which you will hear yeah. outside of the normal business operations right. you will hear the conversations are 100 percent driver centric yeah yeah, and that's the anchor. That's the anchor yeah. which holds our beliefs and values here at Bison Transport. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I'm saying I feel very proud to uh, take partial credit of that because every single person working here should take credit. Yeah, because we're very proud of yeah. the fact that we care about the person behind the. Deal. So, so what type of things? Because actually, uh, Tracy, who arranged this, wanted me to talk a little bit about how you're supporting the drivers. So, what types of things do you have to do in your role to? support them on a daily basis like i mean dispatch one thing is just yeah. sending them along and hoping they come back but yeah. there's other things that happen you know as uh, and again I'm, I'm gonna touch on uh the human aspect which is yeah. involved yeah i kept the parts where the trucks are running dispatching yeah, 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 is yeah. done planning yeah, yeah. is done operation that's Everything normal operation into yeah. place if i start talking about my um you know uh day's tasks right now yeah it's gonna be very repetitive where we all know you find a plan you tender it's gone, delivered. I yeah, get that. yeah. But in today's day and age, I feel that some of the companies in the industry have drifted away um, where they used to be in touch with the driver. Yeah, that emotion is missing. Yeah, 
that's where bison comes into play. Yeah. The emotion is not missing here. Because, yeah. you know, in, in the fuel consumption with the, with the economy going the way it is, we've actually drifted away yeah. as an industry. We're just concerned about A to B, A to B, and, B yeah, no crashes. Delivered, that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, I don't want to talk about that because yeah. that's business. And that yeah, happens. Yeah. What makes that experience and the process better yeah. is that when you're actually in touch with the person who's making that happen. Right. The, the driving force. And I'm not talking about the people who are driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the force that propels the business. Right. The driving yeah. force, which right. are the drivers. Yeah, yeah. Is what matters. Yeah. And here we care. Yeah. And how we care is we hold ourselves accountable. Yeah. If you're driving, per se, you're accountable for the load. Right. Right? You're accountable to deliver it. You're accountable to get the POD signed and making sure we get paid and right. you get paid. That's your accountability. Where does our accountability, where does my accountability come into yeah. play? This is where my accountability comes into play. I will do what I say I would. Yeah. And I really care for the drivers. Right. And when I say I, I doesn't have to be one person. Right. In this yeah, statement, yeah. I means the entire bison transport. Right, yeah. How, these people work underneath you? How many people here work No one you? works underneath. No, no one, nobody all here. All we all work team. together as a, one big family and yeah. one, one big team. Yes, we so do. So do have. they have to know, do, do you have to know what each other does so that you can, it can be effective? Or of course. Of is course, everybody, you know, some companies work in a yeah. silo where this is what they do, and then other companies, you all work together. I used to know everybody else's yeah, job. Yeah. So I had an idea if I'm talking to a yeah. driver, well, here's probably what's going to happen. Yeah. Here's Absolutely. Uh, as a matter of fact, when you walk in, the first thing which you should have noticed, we'll show it on camera as well, uh, there are no walls. Yeah, that's right. And that answers okay. your questions. Yeah. There are no walls, and there's a reason for this setup. And the reason is for us to have an open communication. Right. You see right now, you'll see drivers walking to anybody right for anything yeah they don't have to wait yeah they don't have to call in if you're physically here yeah there's yeah, no yeah. point sending an email there's mm -hmm. no point calling you right. are better off walking directly to myself or whoever's right. involved to get things done yeah and yeah. that's yeah, i see I jack walking around everybody's desk there so so it doesn't become oh the drivers are here like at four o'clock or whenever the drivers usually come in is that when you guys are like, no, no, no drive. Not at all. We <laughs> actually know? look forward to that. Yeah. Because think about it. If there's a phone call for something which needs done, yeah. that translates into 15 emails, 15 yeah. responses. However, if a person's right here, we can deal with whatever the request is yeah. right then and there. Yeah. Yes, emails are important for us to have a record. Yeah. But that personal touch cannot replace anything no. of, of talking to drivers uh, who've been here for... 15, 20 years, yeah. and they still appreciate the fact that they will get a phone call. For example, I'm a fleet manager. I will call uh, my drivers on their birthdays, yeah. provided I remember and I try to remember. And I try to remember, and it's easier for us because we have technology in place. Yeah. We call it the herd. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you go on the herd, there's a section which will uh, highlight uh, the driver's name, their birthday. Yeah. And it's my responsibility to go in there every week, if not every day, yeah. to see whose birthday is coming up. Right, right, Set right. a reminder for myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give them a call. Yeah. And another thing is, let me ask you a question as a matter of fact. So you're at work right now. Yeah. You're at work. This is your work, although you're here, Bison, but yeah. you're still at work. How do you want to be treated when you come to work? Well, with respect and some dignity, you know, and not know that you're – you're you're uh able to have your space and take care of what you have to do like i you know my wife and i are like that at yeah. home she got her space i got my space <laughs> they can cross but they yeah. shouldn't you know that kind of thing just i'm a very organized person yeah. so i like to know i don't want someone else's desk full of stuff i want my stuff the way that you yeah. know what else so. do you expect when you come to work um just to, to have to have a good day, to have some friendship, a laugh, you know, that kind of thing. And um, uh, you don't always get that at some places. But I want to make a decent day's pay. Yeah. I want to. I don't mind working hard. Yeah. I want to have a laugh, so I shouldn't come home more stressed than when I came into work. Right. There you go. Stress free. Right. That's the answer. Yeah. That's the answer to the question you asked me. Yeah. You know, there are two rules. One is a golden rule. One is a platinum rule. 
Okay. The golden rule tells us treat people the way you want to be treated. Right. We're all, yeah, yeah. We're all, you know, grown up with that. Yeah. The platinum rule is treat people the way they want to be treated. Yeah. See the difference? Yeah. And here, we strongly believe. There must be a people. day, though. <laughs> Come on, I'm, I'm 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 60 years old. There's a day when someone <laughs> goes wired, and it might not be because of something happening here, but you know, personal yeah. things happen, and people are. And how do we out. how do we deal with that? Yeah, how, how, do you, how, how do we deal with that at home? Not every day is going to be. A bottle of wine sometimes comes to mind, but I don't know. I don't know. Depends which day we're talking, I guess. You don't want me to ask you, asking you more probing questions. No, no, no. Not for, don't go by my life. Go by someone else's. No, it is, you know, just a big family. Yeah, yeah. And it's not going to transpire the way I'm telling this on video. You're sitting right here yeah. looking into my eyes and yeah, you can yeah, probably yeah. feel that I'm telling you how it is. Yeah, yeah. It's a big family. Yeah. There, there are, uh, you know, uh, times where people are going to have disagreements. Yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah. But we solve it. How? How yeah. do we solve it? How do we solve it at home? How yeah. do we solve it with friends, with dialogue, yeah. with facts, with rationale, yeah, yeah, with yeah. logic? Yeah, yeah. When you have all these things in one framework, yeah. you're bound to agree either on something or agree to disagree. How does that work from a driver's standpoint, though? Because drivers can feel like... No matter what you say, they they don't see you. They're gone for two, three weeks, whatever time they're, they're gone. And you, I've seen communications yeah. go out and drivers think, oh, they're against us. And I go, no, somebody had an issue and they had to put this out as a new yeah. policy or whatever, right? So you guys have a lot of policies. So how, how do you manage that with uh, the driver personnel? Accountability yeah. and transparency. I'll give you an example just to put some things in perspective. So I had a driver who was stuck in the U.S., Long story short, he was stuck. There were no reloads. And there was a breakdown in right. And he had been calling in and, you know, the message he got was that we're actually exploring options. Great. We're reaching. It was a long weekend in the U.S. Yep. Uh, we were exploring options to see what's the closest place we can get your reload out yep. of. But again, after 45, 50 minutes or two hours of exploring, <clears throat> it was coming towards the end of the day. Yep. We knew that the chances are very slim. So I called the driver. I said, sir, these are the facts. We know it's a long weekend. You were we, you were not planned to be there today. Right. There was a breakdown involved, which delayed, and now you're here. Yeah. And I'm going to be 100% honest and transparent with you. I don't want to tell you that, you know what, you're I'm going to go, go, home. Go, home, <laughs> go home because it's Friday, and then you'll be stuck here on the weekend. I said, no. Yeah. So the soonest load I could secure is Monday. Right. So at least... You have the peace of mind that Saturday and Sunday you are right there. I mean, he's going to be there regardless. Yeah. But having that peace of mind that, you know what, I'm here yeah. and nothing's going to change. And if mm. something does change, that's a bonus. Yeah. Right? So be honest. Yeah. So he's like, perfect. Thank you. I'm going to do whatever I need to. Yeah. I'll go explore Florida, yeah. whatever yeah. it is. Right? So that's exactly what happened. You have to be honest. You cannot yeah. leave someone hanging. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah. So if you are being honest, yep. half, the battle, half of the battle is yeah. done. Sir. That's the way I think. That's the way I think it needs to work in a lot of places. It doesn't work that way in all the places, but it needs to work that way. And, and we, we it, and 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 and, 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 and to, to be uh, safe for dispatchers too. That's a big job. I've done that job. It is not an easy job. You're yeah. working with more than one thing going on, yeah. and sometimes you can't give somebody an answer because you don't know. You're you don't waiting. know. Then you then you tell them. Yeah. This is the reason why I cannot give you an answer because this is what's happening in the background. Yeah. If you know, for example, if you go to a bank, right, you apply for a credit limit. They just tell you, we're working on it. We're working on it. Yeah. Ten days later, we're working <laughs> yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But if they tell you, you'll be pissed. But if they tell you, we have processed your application. It's at the underwriter's table. Yeah. Now they're reviewing your car loan on which you still owe 35 grand. Yeah. That's the reason why there's a delay. Yeah. And their judgment is going to be based on the outcome of the paperwork. Right. Are you at peace now? Yeah. At least, are you, at least are you, you know where it is. Are you okay waiting? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'll, I'll share another example. You go to a restaurant. You tell the server, I'm allergic to seafood. All right? No problem, sir. But you're at Red Lobster. <laughs> 30 minutes, 30 minutes, you know, yeah. after waiting, you're like, where's my order? Yeah. The server comes out. He tells you, sir, 
I apologize. There will be another wait, another 20 minutes of waiting. Yeah. You're like, why? Because your your meal was prepared, but we had a side of yeah. something, right? I apologize. I'm going to go back. You would be okay waiting yeah. now because you know what happened. Yeah. As opposed to not telling you what happened, just redoing your yeah. you know meal and bringing it out two hours later. And you don't know. You're yeah, pissed. Yeah. You're mad. But if you know the reason behind it, you're okay. And now you're even you know thanking the waiter for not letting me consume <laughs> yeah, you know, what I'm allergic to. Yeah. So, so how does that relate back to the right to decide program? Because if the driver is now the one to tell you, I'm shutting down. Uh, you guys, you know, you guys have this thing, no questions asked. Well, yep. what, but you need to know. You need to let the customer know. You might need to get another driver or tow truck or whatever the, the answer situation is. is. Question, no questions asked as long as there's communication. Yeah. So same thing, accountability, transparency, holding ourselves accountable and being yeah. open. If it if it's good for me, it's, it has to come from the driver as well. Right. Yeah. right? Yeah. So if you're not feeling, let's say if you're not in the right state of mind, forget yeah. about the weather had an argument at home whatever you're not yeah, feeling right, right to right. drive as long as you communicate as long as you let us know give us some notice we're okay why because we will be able to rescue that load yeah reschedule an appointment and get it done and yeah. that gives you some time to take a break yeah. whether it's weather health whatever right. that is i mean if there's health involved we make other arrangements yeah 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 right yeah. but if it's just the weather you wait it out or you are not comfortable driving, but the weather is okay. Yeah. All right, sir. We'll park you at a truck stop as long as we have enough time. So communication is key. Yeah, yeah. And I've said that to drivers over the years because a lot of drivers don't. They stop and they don't say a word, and you don't know where they are. And I've had I've had a driver who's gone for a week, and we were all searching how for. How was him. it? How was it back in the day when we did not have? Uh, you know, chats and then GPS. Uh, trucking is so easy. You guys got it made, man. You got cell phones and. Try finding a, a, a in New Jersey, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, finding a phone booth. Oh, we, we had boy. cards. I had a 1-800 number just for my home, just to call home on 1-800 so number. So it was only based on trust. Yeah. <laughs> we had to call in twice a day. Yeah. And then you called in if you need a, a load or whatever, but guys just did it. But the guys who didn't call in, it was always... Where are they? Yeah. All drivers be searching for one guy. One guy he didn't like driving the rain yeah. all week, and he went to a different truck stop. Yeah. We thought he was dead, and he called in on a Friday. Oh, Trust me, he was done by Saturday. It worked one week for us. So well, things anyway, have changed. Yeah, Maverick, thanks for your time today, man. I know that that's the culture you got. I know, I know that from you. So thanks for clearing that up for people. And uh, it's always good seeing you. I can't wait to do more here. <laughs> I might move it. I you, might sir. make a studio here and buy.